And welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, Gungans, droids. And you know what? A special shout out to all those double agent rebels out there to today's video where we have our first look initial gameplay review of the latest conquest unit, Luthen Rail. And the question is, is this guy really going to be all that special? He might not be a Malikos, a Malgus, a Bane, but you know what? He's kicking butt. And that's all that matters, people. We're just getting started. And we're already seeing Luthen Rail take down several galactic legends prior to even throwing on your Omicrons and your Datacrons. So yeah, this guy's gonna be kind of a big deal. So let's get into it, not holding too much suspense, and let's start breaking down how to use this character to the fullest capabilities right here, right now. And just a quick clarification before we start rolling here, I just wanna let you guys know, for those in the future, Wondering why the heck I sound like a dead frog in, at sometimes. Well, just getting over the Rona Rona. My voice has been kind of going in and out. It's getting a little bit better, but you might hear my voice kind of crap up. But don't worry. My resolve has never been stronger to make sure you know how our video game division is going to be utilizing this character. And speaking of utilizations, let's just quickly knock out mods, Zetas, Omicrons. If you're trying to use this character right now, mods, I want to let you guys know, Luthen Real is one of the fastest character base speeds in the game. 198 base speed. Puts him tied with the OG Moff Gideon. That is fast. Let's go ahead and utilize speed mods. We're going to use the crit chance. It's going to be a little weird, but to keep it short and simple, we want to make sure we're maximizing the crit chance of the summon unit because that guy can hit hard. So we want to make sure we're landing critical hits and the base crit chance on that summon unit is a bit low. So hopefully that explains it. And then a potency cross to make sure we're landing things like the healing immunity that Luthen Rail has on his basic ability. Quickly, Zetas, there's only one Zeta, I would recommend it, a sunless space. As we're gonna see, there's pretty much two core ways of losing you, lo yeah, losing Uthen. One with Saw Gerrera, one with Mon Mothma, and the Zeta is gonna give you some powerful effects. One with Saw Gerrera, you got a cleanse, each debuff cleanse, you get Terminator Game, that's kind of like uh, Captain Rex in a way, OG Captain Rex. And when he's with the Curator, or Mon Mothma, or non Mothma Alliance, I should say, you're gonna get the rallying bonus, which is a very powerful thing. And Omicrons, I'm gonna keep it simple as well. One Omicron mandatory, dreams of ghosts. But as you're gonna see, I didn't really need the Omicrons and Datacrons, and I'm beating a lot of Galactic Legends. This is gonna make it even easier and maybe open up a possibility for other GLs because you're gonna get 30% max health, 20 speed, 50% bonus protection is huge. If you have extra Omicrons of Spirit, I would recommend what do I sacrifice primarily because you're going to get critical damage up for even more damage. Luthen Rail is maxing out the damage on your Rebel Fighters so that 30% offense boost, which is stacking, is great. And it allows you to ignore taunt. And super luxury tools of my enemy, I would probably recommend skipping this unless you want to go all in on Luthen Rail. You probably have other Omicrons that are way more important. But this one, unless you're using the basic pretty frequently, you're not going to really get that much benefit on this because it only works on his turn not when he assists unfortunately so with all that said and done let's go ahead and start rolling some gameplay and showing you what this team is looking like and here are pretty much the two main ways of using him but i think there's going to be other ways of using him he's got two different effects the curator and the axis when he's a sauger he becomes an axis member outside of sauger he basically just becomes a curator and that works very well with mon mothma as we're going to see. And let's go show you what that looks like in application. So again, I want to emphasize no Omicron, no Datacron. And we're already taking down things like Ray, Lord Vader, maybe a Leia in certain lineup situations. That right there is already a great start. And once you start throwing in Omicrons and Datacrons, it's only going to get better moving from there. And I'm not even kidding. So what is Luthen Rail really offering for this team? He really is kind of a, a glorified stat booster, but also it depends on what lineup he's in. So let's talk about the Mon Moth lineup. I would say prior to Omicrons, prior to Datacrons, Mon Moth just feels a lot better to get the most use out of Luthen Rail. So let's talk about those curator bonuses and the majority of this non-Omicron gameplay you're gonna see is from Mon Moth. But towards the end, I have glimpses of Omicron gameplay that's going to show Sauger in a more favorable light. Just to let you know, don't sleep on Saw for right now. He's got some good potential down the road. The biggest thing, kind of like we already briefly mentioned with that Omicron, the dreams of Ghost is what is really all about this team. Straight from the very get-go, Mon Moth, Rebel Fighter Allies, they're going to get 20 speed, so even more speed. <laughs> and of course, if you get the Omicron, you get even more and more speed. So you can, you're looking at, you're looking at possibly like 40 extra speed. 
pretty crazy stuff that you got going on here. But furthermore, you're going to be able to summon a rebel troop at the very beginning and instantly promote them to commander. And as we know, the commander in the Bon Moth lineup, he's going to get even more powerful bonuses to kind of keep passing along to your team. But let's not get too bogged down in that. What we have here is with that rebel trooper that turns into a commander, it provides a variety of aspects where one of them, it makes Luthen immune to ability block, cooldown increases, taunt effects, and you can't target him, and he can't fall below 100% health unless that trooper is out of the picture. But furthermore, this is where you see the duality of Luthen Rail inside of the Andor TV show, where if he's an Axis member, which turns out when he's with Saw Gerrera, he makes the Rebel Trooper get a new status effect called the Expendable Asset. And we're going to get into that in a second. But also inflicts Mark on the Rebel Trooper, which creates kind of like a Night Sister zombie level cheese. But it's important because when you kill off the Trooper, it's going to feed your team a variety of benefits depending on what situation he's in. Because as you see here, when he's with an Axis team, when the Rebel Trooper is defeated, your attacker allies have their cooldown resets. And when you look at characters like Kyle Katarn, which is going to be a staple in a Saw or a Mon Mothra lineup, yeah, that's going to be nice, getting Kyle Katarn to constantly reset his cooldowns. But when we look at the curator side of things, the thing that's going to make Saw Gerrera, I'm sorry, Luthen Rail very interesting is that he allows Mon Mothma to keep pushing the turn meter engine along because whenever Rebel Trooper begins its turn, you're going to be giving Luthen as well as Mon Mothma 20% turn meter. And as you know, the more turns Luthen gets, the more turn Mon Mothma gets. The right lineup with Mon Mothma is using Hoth Rebel Scout and Pow. So you can see with the, the turn meter gains on the basic with the Hoth Rebel Scout, it turns into a quite a nice turn meter roll party. And as you can see, the grand majority of these battles, you just keep rolling the enemy team. It's kind of like an Imperial Trooper-like thing where the, the engine just keeps on moving. You keep on rolling. So I know it's been a while since so you really kind of focus on Mod Mothma. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are a bit newer to the game. You might not, might not have been around in 2020 when Mon Mothma was coming to the game. We saw things like Hoth of Scott become a lot more important because in a Mod Mothma lineup, everybody's assisting. And as we know, on the ability right here, bold maneuvers. You're going to get 25% turn meter for all allies. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. So it's kind of another heads up. If you want to utilize Youth and Luthen Rail with Mon Mothma, Hawthorne, Scott, and Pal are fantastic additions that we have. Let's not get too bogged down into all overall history of the Mon Mothma light up here. There's other important things that we got to discuss. Even prior to the Omicron, sunless space furthering the whole idea of moving the team along so much faster you're going to get speed up for the team and the team's usually already pretty fast as is as we said the terminator games and you're going to get even more bonus protection up if you have that omicron on the unique ability you're already getting 50 percent bonus protection that is huge add another 20 percent along the way your team is incredibly durable which makes things like surviving ray's ultimate so much easier to handle but then if you're with the axis members Saw Guerrera getting a cleanse, to turning that into turn meter, marking down your rebel commander, hoping he dies so you reset the cooldowns of your attackers is a huge deal. And we also got a rallying bonus when he's in curator mode, which means he's with Mon Mothma or non Saw Guerrera lineups, because you can technically use him outside of Saw Guerrera and Mon Mothma. You can use him with Rogue One, for example. He's able to rally Mon Mothma and all rebel fighter allies, which allows your, uh, your attackers to assist and depending on how many uh, healers and supports you have you're going to recover health and protection so again keeping your team alive as long as possible and then the what do i sacrifice special ability that you have here this right here is going to be great because what this allows you to do is it allows you to get stacking offense when you have that uh when you when you use this ability and it makes you immune to turn meter reduction which is going to be a nice thing to have on your team but if you're at the axis members you're going to get even more offense increases but if you're at the curator you can grant frenzy so the way to look at this is when i use this ability when i'm using this on an axis team for, with Sagar, i want to target one of my bigger damage dealers so if you target kyle katarn He's going to have a big chunk of damage. So he's going to lay down on the enemy team with that 50% stacking offense boost for two turns. In a Mon Mothma lineup, I would recommend using this on Mon Mothma herself because she gets frenzy. And then you want Mon, 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 Mon Mothma to take so many turns because you want to make sure you're letting her using her mass sword ability multiple times. So the more turns she takes, the quicker she can get that off cooldown, maybe get a revive if you need that. So I love using that frenzy 
on Mon Mothma as well. There's just so many opportunities to really use this guy. And as you're kind of browsing through all this gameplay, we're able to hang in there with a lot of Galactic Legends, a lot of like other top performing things like Bo Katan, that was pretty wild, uh, Malgus. And as you're gonna see here, we focused mostly on Mon Mothma gameplay up until this point. Saw Gerrera, I think is really gonna shine once you have Omicrons, once you got Datacrons. As we're seeing here, there might be an opportunity for this team to do well up against Gungans, as well as Queen Amidala, maybe even Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. In my initial test, I couldn't do it yet because I didn't have Omicrons or Datacrons, but we're gonna be able to see in this next coming week of Grand Arena, if you could indeed get Saw Gerrera to beat Queen Amidala with Luthen, that's kind of a big deal. The explosive traps go off instantly against the Queen Amidala team because you can't apply debuffs on the handmade decoy, but it triggers the explosive trap, so it detonates immediately. Same thing the Gungans. You apply it on the, the opposing shield generator, well, <laughs> it goes off right away. So I just want to put it out there, although right now I think the best use is Mon Moth, but prior to Datacrons and Omicrons, Saw Gerrera is going to have a lot of opportunities at his disposal with the opportunity of those Omicrons being turned on with Luthen. It's more importantly Saw. Saw's lead doesn't really work until you get that leadership in full swing. But I think you've got opportunities outside those teams. I feel like a grand majority of guys have a Mon Moth, but if you've been playing the game for a while, you, it's, it's a necessary thing to build up your whole Luke hierarchy in the game. And Saw Gerrera may be a little bit newer, so I think that's a good thing that you have these options. I think Mon Moth is going to be more of an offensive tool because on defense, as you saw, Tuskins can kind of beat him because of all the turn meter gains. Dark Trimoth getting does not give two craps about Mon Mothma because of all the turn meter gains as well. So I think if you want to use this on defense, Saw Gerrera is probably going to be the better defensive team to be utilizing Luthen Rail with. And I think there's going to be other ways of using Luthen Rail and Saw Gerrera in offense. So it's kind of nice that you have the opportunity. Mon Mothma, I love the turn meter engine. It feels like you're just rolling over the enemy team. If this can be a solid rate counter, to replace Malakos and Starkiller, pff, I'm all for it. We'll have to wait and see about the consistency of it, but I believe with the Omicron and Datacrons, it's going to be a pretty bulletproof counter. Saw Gerrera, if you're trying to have a better defensive team, I think Luthen and Saw are going to be much better on defense than Mon Mothma could, and there's probably going to be teams that Saw can beat that Mon Mothma can't, and vice versa. But again, you guys probably built up a Rogue One team. As long as your Rebel team has Rebel Fighters, you're going to get uses out of Luthen Rail, and most of a Rogue One team is Rebel Fighters. Yeah, you know, Luthen Rail is going to miss out on some of the key Rogue One elements, but most of the kits from Rogue One and Luthen Rail, they're going to work well. Like, wouldn't it be great to give your Rebel Fighters speed up and bonus protection? Yeah, that'd be great inside of the lineup. And remember, you don't have to use him with just Saw and Mon Mothma. Anything outside of a Mon Mothma and Saw team, he's just going to get a Curator bonus. So that's going to be nice. Being able to rally, you know, the whole entire Rogue One squadron. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Being able to have this right here, getting your Rebel Trooper on the field. As long as you're not using him with the Rebel Galactic Legend, the Galactic Legend Leia, you're going to be good to go. So people, yeah, I understand that maybe Luthen Real isn't the, the most exciting character of all time. You know, Andor, you know, some people found the boring. I enjoyed Andor. But I got to say, just from what I'm seeing right now, just separating what your excitement about the Andor TV show and Luthen Rail is, just solely looking at a performance basis, this character feels like he's somewhere between Malgus and Malakos level power. And the best thing is, and you know me, I love when you add one character and it supercharges a faction that a lot of people have, have a, a had over the years and turned them into especially, you know, Galactic Legend Slayers. So we'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Of course, we are just getting started. We have some Omicron gameplay that we're going to have to wait for this upcoming season of Grand Arena. But as you're already seeing right now, even the little sample Sagra Omicron teaser we showed towards the end that was provided by the data miners out there having early access. Yeah, I think this guy's got a bright future in this game. Leave your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for stopping by. I got to say, my voice wasn't that bad today. You know, we're getting better. We're improving. All that job with just the back the tank stuff. It does you wonders. But you know what else does you wonders? <laughs> when you sit back and say... How it's great to be in the Empire today. The sun never set.